morning. Saturday morning, 6 a.m. Or the alarm bell was ringing about 30 minutes ago. So now I'm heading for Stockholm by train. And apparently people are awake at this early hour. So uh, please follow me. Going for a full day in the Stockholm archipelago by boat. I have now been on the commuter train from Uppsala to Stockholm. It took me about one hour. And now I'm walking to the birth of uh, Vone, which is the ship that will take me to Finham. And this is a lovely place because uh, to the left of me, over there, that's the opera house at one of these uh, squares. And uh, on the other side, over there, that is, oh, let's see, is it that one? Sorry. <laughs> that one, that's the Royal Castle. And behind you over there, that's also the Grand Hotel. Finham is a small archipelago of its own, with several beautiful islands located on both sides of Husereleden, a busy boat boating strait. The islands feature green meadows, old forests, sunny cliffs and farmland. The bays around the islands offer not only shelter from the wind, but also an excellent place to swim. The name Finham originates from the Finnish ships that found safe harbour in a bay across the strait while on their way to Stockholm. The hostel in the elegant building on the hill, once a summer resident for a wealthy businessman. Lovely island, this Finham. I've been here a couple of times before. Uh, previously, if you saw my video from the Stockholm archipelago, apparently these trails are also marked. There it is. Great. So it's super easy to find your way here on Finham. Yes, I have found the bridge and it's not at all as I expected it to be. Have a look over here. There it is. Well, hello there, well, the lovely part of this uh, Finhamn island in the outer part of the Stockholm archipelago to the east. So uh, now we're heading for another place, having a fika, which is super important. Oh, I know what this is. This is not uh, garbage. This is some sort of a contest. You're supposed to stack these uh, as high as possible, but since they are in light plastic, most likely they will fall down if you do it uh, wrong or too fast. Okay, a little bit crazy, but I'm going to try it. Let's see how many I can stack. Can you guess? 5? 10? 20 perhaps? Or 30? I don't know. Let's do this. Just crashed, so I did get. Did you count? I think I got. I think I got 14. Where did I get 15? Did you have the time to to count? Okay, so apparently everything fell down. But at least I got five, ten, and I think 14. Good, right? Wow. Have a look at this 
lovely oak tree behind me over there. That's the one. This uh, tree seems to be really old. Um, not that many hundred years ago. We actually built ships out of oak, oak trees. And uh, well, I guess it's still possible, but uh, of course it's in some cases easier to do it by aluminium. Oh, what's this? Hey, so I guess they are using this to let the cows eat. We'll actually visit one of the farms. Time for some lunch. We we'll have a let's see, a sandwich and a peach and water and possibly also some queso top. And do you know this important thing? When you do visit nature reserves like this, you should take nothing but photos, leave nothing but footprints. So let's take nothing but photos and leave nothing but footprints. So all of these things should be brought back home again. You should not try to, to throw it away. As I understand it, you are able to rent these little houses for a day, a weekend, or perhaps a week. Great, I have found it. It says Gorge Boutique. So this is it. Cucumber, squash, garlic, and several different types of oil. I'm going to buy eggs and then some tomatoes. And here we go. So from this local farm I bought six eggs for 39 kroner. And that's about uh, uh, four euros or dollars and I also bought um, 240 grams of uh, uh, tomatoes and those were 24 Swedish kroner which is about uh, 2.4 euros or dollars. the boat that I am going to travel on back to Stockholm in about one hour. The semaphore. If you want a ship to call a yeti, signal should be given with the semaphore in the direction from where the ship is expected. When dark, this should be completed with a light signal. So that's the semaphore. So now it's in correct position and I'm good to go. Uh, a note regarding traveling by Maxonsblaget in the Stockholm Archipelago. The name of the ship is not the same as the destination. They just name the ships after different places in the Stockholm Archipelago. When you do embark, you always tell them what jetty you will exit at, so they know if, if they should uh, go there or not. And it's just half an hour before I get back on dry land. On then I'm heading for a train back to Uppsala again and uh, to edit this video and publish it for you guys. Oh.